What is going on guys in today's video i'm going to take you kind of step by step on how i come up with a local keyword strategy so right here what we have is a client of mine that i'm going to go ahead and pretty much a local seo strategy right so the first plan in any seo strategy is obviously coming up with a keyword strategy right you want to make sure that we can target keywords that are going to bring them more customers right so as an auto repair shop, you know, you want clients that are going to be local, right? This is why it's so important to be able to create a local keyword strategy in order to, you know, bring in those local clients, right? So if they're located in Fort Wayne, Indiana, you know, we want to make sure that clients or people in Fort Wayne, Indiana are able to find, you know, their website whenever they're searching for auto repair services, right? So once we go into here, we can kind of see, you know, some of their services. So if we go to their, our services page, we can see that they offer air, air conditioning, alignments, alternators, vintage repair, and a lot of other services, right? So each of these service pages could essentially rank, right? So we want to make sure that these pages are optimized. And as you can see here, it has very little content on it, which is something that we're going to be discussing with the client because there's no way that these pages are going to rank with this little content, right? So that's one thing that we're going to need to discuss to make sure we add enough content on here that is going to answer all the questions that somebody would have if they were searching for AC repair, you know, auto AC repair, right? We want to make sure we have enough client that's going to allow this page to really rank highly in the Google search engine. And next to that, you know, we want to have our on page. We want to have our meta title, meta description, our header tags optimized for local search terms, right? So since our city, since the client is located in Indiana, specifically Fort Wayne, right? So we want to, we want to gather search terms, search phrases in their same city, right? So the way we're going to do this is, first of all, I kind of mapped out some of the keywords that we would want to target, or at least that I'm going to go over with you in this tutorial. So I went ahead and wrote out auto repair Fort Wayne. So this would be pretty much our home page, right? This is something that we would want our home page to rank, you know, a more broad keyword that gets a much higher volume, right? And I'm going to go ahead and kind of go more in depth on, you know, getting the volume, getting the KD and how to do a competitor analysis, right? So what I did here is I pretty much just did the keyword plus the city, right? So this is their city, Fort Wayne, Indiana. So I went ahead and got auto repair, auto AC repair, alignment repair, and alter alternator repair, right? And obviously for any local business, you're going to have, you know, your keyword and then the city you want to target, right? This is going to be essential for any local business, whatever service you're selling, you know, you want to target those local phrases, right? And then just making a spreadsheet just makes it a lot more easier to stay organized. And I like to, you know, write down the volume and the KD, the keyword difficulty to make sure that we're able to rank, right? And I went ahead and already did, you know, a simple Google search to see who was ranking highly for these different search terms, just to go ahead and grab the URL, right? So we have the top, uh, one of the top ranking competitors in each of these key phrases, right? And then I went ahead and also wrote down the title tags just to give us a better, you know, description of what kind of keywords these guys are targeting, right? But before we get more into that, let's go ahead and first do a search for auto repair, you know, Fort Wayne. So first of all, any keyword, any SEO tool that you use is going to give you different metrics, right? This is why you don't necessarily want to just rely on SEO tools. You want to actually one, take what you see from these SEO tools, but actually go into the Google SERP, right? And then you want to do the actual SERP analysis and determine how hard it would be to rank for it, depending on the level of domain authority of those that are ranking on the first page, right? So you don't want to just rely on these tools. You want to first go into the tools, grab that data, and then go into a Google SERP for whatever search term you want to rank for, 
and then actually do a more in-depth analysis, right? So very quickly, if you guys can see, so I'm going to show you very quickly that each SEO tool will give you different metrics, right? So we can see here that the DR on Ahrefs is 0.3, organic traffic is 78. If we go to SEMrush, right, the same, same URL, organic search traffic is 257, authority score is 7. And then if we go to over here, we got Site Profiler by Bango Tools, domain authority is 11, right? So each of these SEO tools is giving us different metrics, right? This is why it's so important to not just rely on this data from your SEO tools and actually go in and do manual analysis, right? An SEO tool is never going to be able to compete with a manual analysis, right? And also because I really enjoy doing competitor analysis, one of my favorite things to do when doing SEO. So I really recommend you guys to get familiar with the Google SERP. But before we get into that, I kind of want to go into Ahrefs. And what we can do here is if you put a URL, you know, you, you have organic keywords, and this is going to let you know what keywords that website is already ranking for, right? So let's go to, you know, United States, and they should pull up all the keywords that they rank for in the United States, right? I'm gonna filter by position. This way it's in order from, from uh, position one to position 100, right? So their top keywords right now are mainly just branded phrases. So we do wanna create that local SEO strategy to make sure they're showing up for local cities, right? And we can see here, we do have a local search term. It says Audi dealership for Wayne. Now the volume is kind of low for this, but still not a bad keyword to rank for, right? This might be something we'd want to look into as it looks like they're ranking in the 23rd position. So we can do some work on that. And then we just want to scroll down, see what other search terms they're ranking for. We can again see that they're ranking for auto shops for Wayne, another local search term. It's another thing that we can make a note of, right? We want to make sure that if they're already ranking on the second or third page, you know, you can pretty much guarantee as long as, you know, the keyword is not too difficult to rank for with some better on page optimization. I can guarantee that this page will get a nice boost, right? As long as you do the correct on page optimization and maybe a couple backlinks will get you to that first page, right? So we could just take all these keywords and just import them into a spreadsheet if we wanted to, right? But for this purpose, I'm just going to focus on our main keywords that I made a note of simply because these are going to bring in the money, right? If someone's looking for an auto repair shop, it is more likely that they are actively looking and are pretty much going to call or make an appointment, you know, with a Audi repair shop, because anytime that someone needs their car fixed, it's usually an emergency. So it's very valuable to have these keywords that are more buyer intent focused in order to make sure that our, you know, our customer is getting the best for their keywords. So first what we want to do is let's, let's search up this keyword on Ahrefs. So we go over here, let's just bring up a new tab. Let's go to the keyword explorer. And here we can type in auto repair and their city was Fort Wayne. So auto repair for Fort Wayne. And let's see what comes up if anything. So we got a KD of 14 and a search volume of 150. So let's go ahead and make a note of that. So search volume is 150 and then KD is 14, right? And let's say we can find some more metrics for these other keywords. Just go ahead and copy this. Let's go back over here and let's see if anything comes up for this. Many times, you know, the many times the search volume is, is very low or Ahrefs simply doesn't pick it up. Let's see if SEM Rush picks up anything. Let's go over to their keyword magic tool. All right, let's go ahead and paste that in and see if we get anything. And they don't have anything either. So let's go over to KW Finder. Let's paste that in there, see if anything comes up. If not, we might just have to leave it blank, right? So it doesn't give us any search data, but it does give us the KD difficulty of eight, right? And it labels it at easy, right? So even if these SEO tools don't give you any data, that doesn't mean that no one is searching for it, right? I can guarantee that someone in Fort Wayne is going to be searching for auto AC repair, right? It's just a given that at some point someone's going to need AC repair for their cars. 
So let's just make a note of their KD real quickly in the spreadsheet. All right, let's see if we can find anything for these guys. Let's copy. Let's try keyword finder. So again, we have a KD of 16. Let's make a note of that KD 16. And let's see, it actually gives us some related keywords, right? So we can also make a note of uh, oil change for Wayne. So this could be a possible keyword. Let me just make a note of that. Let's paste that in there. And then her search is 740. Don't know how accurate that is, but let's just make a note of it. So 740 and KD is 25, right? All right, let's see. Let's see if SEM Rush gives us anything for that keyword. Alternator repair for Wayne. See if it gives us anything. And no, it doesn't. One last try with Ahrefs. Let's see. If not, we might just have to leave it blank as well, guys. So we can see that it has a having a same term. But again, it's very low uh, search volume. And this happens a lot with you know some of these smaller cities but again i can guarantee that someone is needing alternator repair you know in this city right no matter how big or small it is people are always going to need these car services so i can guarantee that people are searching for it and a good way to see if they are is just to go into google so let me just go ahead and pull up a incognito go to google alternator repair for Wayne. So we can see that we do get some, you know, suggested results. So this pretty much is indicating that people are searching for this, right? Which is a good sign. So if you are using, you know, these SEO tools, if you are using these SEO tools and you're not getting any metrics, you know, you can always just go into good old Google and just type it in yourself, right? And you're going to get, and it's going to let you know, you know, if people are actually searching for this, right? And that's a good way of doing, you know, free keyword research. So enough of this, let's go back to the spreadsheet. All right, so let's say that we finalize, you know, our volume and our KD. Um, one thing that I do recommend you guys to do is to get, you know, the Mozbar plugin for Chrome and SEO Minion, another Chrome extension, right? These are both free and they will help with the competitor analysis. So let's say that we wanted to try to rank for auto repair for Wayne, right? So let's go ahead into Google. Let's type in auto repair for Wayne. And if we go in here, let's turn on our Moz bar. And what this is gonna do is going to allow us to see the domain authority of the sites that are ranking, right? This lets you know how strong the site is regarding its backlink profile and the time of the domain, right? So the number one a competitor that we can see here that is not you know like a Yelp or expertise it this looks like a like a review website so we want to focus on this one that's the actual that's an actual repair shop that is ranking right so you know we can say that their SEO is pretty decent right um, this is doesn't look like a huge city but you know looks like it does have a good amount of search traffic so what you want to do here is first make a note of the domain authority, right? And you want to compare it to your own domain authority, right? You want to make sure that it's within at least, you know, five to 10 of your own domain authority to make sure that it's obtainable for you to rank. And another good way to see if you could rank is to look at the other people that are ranking on the first page and, you know, compare their DAs, right? If you see anybody that's ranking with a very low DA, or the exact or very similar to your own DA, it's a very positive signal that you will most likely be able to rank with some good on page, right? So let's go back. And if we go into this one right here, which is pretty much the guys that are ranking in first, let's say you don't have any SEO tools to use. Well, what you can do is you can go ahead and turn on your SEO Minion plugin that I have right here. So if you click on this, what you can do is go ahead and click on analyze on-page SEO, right? And what this is going to do is going to give us all their on-page SEO data that we can do and pretty much replicate it for ourselves, right? Because we already know that they're ranking on the first page. So why try to reinvent the wheel when it's already work working, right? 
so we can see that they have you know their keyword right in their title tag right so this would be something to make a note of and i did already write that in the seo in the keyword spreadsheet that i have right so i already make a note of this just so i can reference back to it right so if we go back into here we can see you know what their title is they're adding you know the word best which is a good tactic to use and then in the description they again are repeating the same keyword and if we go down we can also make a note of their headings right this is very important if you don't have an seo tool you can pretty much find all the keywords that your competitors are using without having to pay for any seo tools right they're pretty much giving you what you need in order to rank right so you can see that their h1 is including auto repair and then in their h2 they have the best auto service in fort wayne right they're including the location which is another great strategy you always want to include the city when you're targeting header tags right especially for local so you can always make a note of this and then you can also do just a quick analysis of the actual page right so let me go ahead and click try to close this so we can go through here and make a note you know they're also mentioning the city right here looks like it's the first paragraph this would be something to make a note of and if we scroll down we can go ahead and continue reading the content you know pay attention to header tags pay attention to content and another good strategy that you can do is to do you know control f and you can type in the city that you want to target and it'll actually let you know how many times they're mentioning it on their home page you can see that it mentions it 10 times on this page would, would be something to make a note of right you want to make sure that you're making notes of all of this data so that you can go ahead and replicate this strategy right you want to make sure that you're mentioning the city very similar to whoever's ranking in the top spots right and if you wanted to get a better of idea of how many times you needed to mention the city, just go back, take the top, you know, five to 10 competitors, average them up, and it's going to give you the average of how many times you need to mention that city on your actual homepage, right? So that's pretty much kind of how I do, you know, my keyword analysis and competitor analysis, right? It's very important to not only do keyword research on the actual keyword but to then type it in on google and then go ahead and go through the competitor analysis right pretty much as i showed you right now so i hope you guys enjoyed this video guys if you have any questions please leave it in the comments below and i'll make sure to answer it as soon as possible if you guys like these videos leave me a thumbs up it will really help me out to continue growing this channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button to get the latest SEO videos, right? All right, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.